Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. Wow, what a gorgeous day it is here in Southern California. And I have absolutely no idea where you are and where you are watching from. But no matter where you are, may you be safe and healthy. This is Lisa Bubari. And this is our session for Heal Talk Tuesdays. Today's session is going to be about uh, Thanksgiving, giving thanks, and uh, what does Thanksgiving mean to you? What does Thanksgiving mean to so many in this world? Of course, it's uh, predominantly an American. Uh, holiday that is being celebrated throughout America and not everybody has turkey <laughs> so some call Thanksgiving uh, a turkey day some call it uh, time for blessing time for reflection so Thanksgiving truly is a time to give thanks to what we have in life and uh, everyone who is with us, surrounding us, our families, our friends. But it's also time for reflection, reflecting within us. And uh, hi, Andre. Hello, Sylvia. I know it is time for Thanksgiving and this year is going to be difficult for you. My prayers are with you. My heart is with you. And for all who have lost a family member, that when we come together at uh, our dinner time for Thanksgiving, as we are to uh, cut the turkey or sit, we must be reminiscing of all the other times that we have had our loved ones, that we have been with the people that we love, we care for. And I know there are so many of us that are with family, where there's others who are missing their family members or have no family, no place to go. Um, and there are religious, uh, aspects of them that so many do not celebrate Thanksgiving or do not believe in this form of celebration or coming up with one day to give thanks or even the holidays, which is the Christmas and everything. Uh, talking to so many of my friends, I know Hallmark has really made every single day into it is a day for grandparents it is a day for um, it, it can be a day for your fork it can be a day it's a turtle day you know i know it's almost every single day can be a day to celebrate but and at the same time why do we need a specific day to celebrate and give thanks to our family members to everyone else. Every Thanksgiving has been in my house uh, and I cook from scratch and I love doing it. I wake up about five o'clock in the morning and I start preparing. Last year we did it at my mom's house and that's because my dad was not doing very well. So, and the family members, the elders, because I live in a second story, it was harder for them to make the arrangements and parking and coming up. So, but this year, in my tradition, in the Armenian tradition, when we have uh, a loss in the family, when someone passes away and dies, we honor that memory and we do not celebrate as far as the holidays. We do not send cards, we do not celebrate the joy 
uh, because it is like a time of mourning. But this is a part of the tradition. And what is more beautiful than traditions in our time in, in who we are? I, I love tradition. I love keeping up with the traditions and not every one of them. But this one means something for my mother. So this year we are not celebrating at my home nor in her home. And we're going to be going and being with family, with our loved ones outside of our home. So I was having this conversation with my mother and I said, but mom, but this is all Thanksgiving is about, is giving thanks for all the life that we've had with our dad, with our loved ones who you may have had a loss to. But her traditions are her traditions. And I honor her tradition and the way she wants to do it. How do I take it? I take it that I want to give thanks for the 90, well, I wasn't around for 93 days, but my dad passed away at age 93. And so for 30 something years, actually almost close to 60 years, 56 years, I was privileged to have my father. And I know so many do not have a mom or a father from the times that they are young or even from teen years or college years. And I call it an honor, a privilege, and that is in itself is something to be grateful for. So to celebrate a Thanksgiving is, is for me giving thanks and being grateful and knowing that I am blessed. And just being here with you, having this computer, living in this country, in itself, I am grateful. I am blessed to be right here and to be amongst every one of you as you are joining in and knowing that blessings and being grateful is first and foremost, you must be grateful to who you are. And that if you have a body, you've got legs, you've got every part of you that you're sitting over here listening, you can hear. If you are seeing me, you can see. You can smell, you can taste. If your senses are intact, that in itself is a blessing. So be grateful first and foremost, starting right here. You see, I had a client yesterday that as we were coming to an end of the session, one of the things that we did, because I work with the self-esteem first, because if our self-esteem and I'm not talking about the confidence, is not strong enough. It's not um, our groundwork, you know, when you want to build something, you don't put it on quicksand. You must pour the cement in there to strengthen it. So our self-esteem, in a way, is the foundation of who we are. Who we are, not what we are, right? And we were talking, and I said, when it comes to gratefulness, how grateful are you? to you and she was taken back you see we forget that there is a little girl and a little boy inside and if we want validation from the outside if we want to be thanked and to be recognized for the things we do we say right how often have you stopped to thank yourself for everything that you have done, that little girl or little boy that has survived, endured, overcome obstacles, uh, overcome pain, hurt, and you don't have to be a millionaire to be successful, but just understanding that where you are today, right here, right now, sit back. And just for one moment, remember your younger self and say thank you 
I am blessed to be where I am today because of all the things together we have endured, we have experienced, we have loved, we have been hurt. And she started crying and I started crying and she says, why are you getting so emotional? Is because it is the most compassionate thing that there is and we forget. We forget to validate, we forget to honor, we forget to thank ourselves and yet we expect others to recognize us. If you are not loving and appreciative to you first, if you are not loving in words to you first and if there is more criticism and angst and constantly complaining about pain in your body pain in your heart or talking about the past and having so much guilt or resentment and anger wow that means you are not feeling all the blessings. You are not seeing all the blessings that you are surrounded with. Even at this very moment, having this necklace, it's a privilege for me to put this beautiful, exquisite necklace. And the person who built it and put it together, the artwork that this person puts it together, when I buy it, I only have five of her items. It's so appreciative because this means something to me, the Mayas. You know, and that's where the appreciation comes. It's not about if it costs thousands of dollars, but when I put it on, it's become my signature necklaces for Lisa Bubari. And when I do the heal talks, I also get to heal within. And that's that that's the entire premises of all the work that I do. Help you tap within yourself to heal from the inside out of who you are, not what you are, not what you have. Even that in itself is for you to sit back and say, I count my blessings for the chair that I am sitting in. And it can be a stool, it can be a chair, it can be a couch, it can be a million dollar couch. But it is that. And if you can breathe and exhale. Count your blessings that you can bring oxygen and vitality inside your body without oxygen tank. And if you happen to be someone who knows someone with an oxygen tank, and look at that, there is a tank that provides oxygen for the person you love and care for. Not every one of us is privileged to drive. So our blessings, first and foremost, must come from, it doesn't matter good, bad, right, wrong, how good they were, how bad they were from our parents who gave birth to us and we are right here, right now. And no matter who they were, where they come from, what they learned, and let's put it this way, there's so many, so many parents who are hurting children today, to this very day, who are damaging their children, abusing, even murdering. But then there is incredible parents, which is 98% of the parents who do what? Their best. That's it. They do their best. And we come through them. We are not them. So as we unveil every mask that we take, it's truly healing within by peeling away one layer of the mask, one layer of the fat, one layer of all the things we put upon ourselves to protect ourselves. And if you can't sleep well tonight or the nights before, 
which is another session we'll talk about at Heal Talk, is knowing, being grateful that you can lay down and it's your bed, that you are safe, and may you be safe. If you're not, call me. That a place of safety is within you and your body, that this incredible body of yours is housing you, protecting you, shielding you to the best of its ability. Have you exercised? Do you go for walks? Do you eat healthy? Do you do the things that nourishes you, nurtures you, empowers you? Because if you do, then this must become healthier. Unless there is something that is a genetic or something, and that's not what we're talking about. But if we sit on the couch day in, day out, and we cannot say that this body cannot function right. So it is our privilege and our right to first tend to us. The same way as when we go to the inside the planes and the first thing they do, they give you the instructions. And most people are not paying attention to it. But that's what the stewardess do. It's about the oxygen that drops, the mask that comes on top. And every single adult is told, you put it on your face, you breathe so you can get oxygen so you can in turn help your child. And here's the thing, there's a child within you. And you're the parent and you're the adult. And believe it or not, sometimes the best thing to do is sit back Pause, be mindful. And the same way as I say the subconscious mind, it truly can rewind all the way back. Excuse me. Our life is not all miserable. And nor is it golden, joyful. Because just like the yin yang that there is the black and the white. There is one dark spot in the white, in the purest of the person. And there is one white spot in the darkest of a person. We just have to expand it, find it, evoke it, embrace it, enlarge it. So we become more light, more joyful, more graceful and as we breathe in and out we validate this person which is you and knowing that you matter and you must stand in front of the mirror and point to that person and say you matter to me you're not perfect but you are more than good enough. And what can we do to become better, healthier, stronger, raise our self-esteem, and be, live our life more grateful every single day? It takes one day at a time. So in my book that I wrote, I'm gonna take this moment before I say what's in my book, say thank you to the people who have joined. Thank you, Rita. Hi, Mark. Hello, Becky. Hi, Melissa. I just wanted to say thank you to all who have joined here at this time of Heal Talk Tuesdays. Hello, Zolita, my lady, my colleague, uh, expert hypnotherapist. It's an honor to have you join in here you know, as a clinical hypnotherapist, I must say, a part of my gratefulness and thankfulness comes when just the other day I was talking about it. I have been doing this work for 18 years. It is a privilege to be able to have this business, to do the work that I do because of the passion that I have for people, treating them as a whole, and it's not only come over here and let's 
hypnotize you, fix you up, and here you go. Because every single person that walks through that door to me is this beautiful angel entity. The same way as I walked in to another long time ago to our master, the founder of the ACHE, which is the American Council of Hypnotherapists, Gil Boyne. And when I walked in there, after talking to him for a few moments, it was, I signed up. I signed up to become the hypnotherapist. And I cried the first time I saw him and I talked to him and he hugged me and said, why are you crying? I said, because I know it's a calling. I have to do this because I healed myself through hypnotherapy and I want to learn this science, this art, so I can empower and help others to become better and healthier and stronger. And as I was crying, he says, but why are you crying? I said, I have no idea why I'm crying. Maybe it's a calling, but I don't have the money pay to pay for the school. And he says, oh, yes, you do. You walked in this door and you will find the ways. And the ways came. And the ways came. And that was 18 years ago. And every time that I feel down or something like that, I remember not only him as a master in the work that he was he was doing. He was the founder and the create the, he's the person who created rapid induction that yes, we can hypnotize you and drop you into that state of hypnosis, either progressive, very relaxed. And I don't even do this. It's with the voice or just by a movement of handshake and drop you into that state. You see, when we are ready, this is, this is not new. They say when the student is ready, the teacher appears. When we are ready to heal, we go after what we want. When we want to be successful, we make that choice and it's the steps we take and suddenly all the doors open. Everyone that needs to help you walks in. So all that is the moment you say yes to you. Yes, thank you. Yes, I am blessed. Yes, I am grateful. And the moment you start with you, which Lisa Nichols always says, say yes, yes. And the yes, yes is one yes to you and one yes to God, to the universe, and to the higher self. So that one opens. That one hears it. And that's called the blessings. Every single day, doors open for us. Which door will you go through? So my gratefulness to every one of you who are here, every single one of you that I have met in person and or right here. Actually, I have met incredibly people in person because of Facebook. And we have come together, we have connected, or we have gotten on the phone and spoken. And you know what kind of an energy exchange that is? That's called blessing. So, on my book, um, on page 54, one of the things that I have is, says, here are 10 tips to living healthier and happier. And the first one, it says, I'm giving you some suggestions. Create a ritual. Write down your to-do list and check off three essentials to do each day. And one of them is look in the mirror. Uh, be grateful for who you are, wink, hug, and always repeat, you matter to me. The second one says, make a list of the things that you love to do and post it and list it and put it on a post-it note, um, right? And put it on your mirror in the bathroom, in the closet that you change clothes all the time or maybe on the steering wheel of your car and make that into your affirmation, into your mantra every day in every way. I appreciate and accept myself 
far more deeply than ever before. Or you can even use mine, my quote and say, I keep the best and dump the rest. How do you like that? So, and you can't take that because it's already mine. It's already uh, copyrighted. So consciously surround yourself with supportive and positive people. And it's one of the most beautiful things that I can say is when our self-esteem elevates and we feel good about ourselves, negativity or even negative people, even if they come around you, they just feel differently as if they don't care to be around you because you they think, oh, okay, you feel much better about yourself or you're stuck up or anything. No, it's just our vibration and I call it the vibration, but it's our energy, our vibration. We are not at the same level. And someone may turn around and say, and there's are always a naysayer and there's people who are absolutely wonderful and they see something greater, far better than what you believe yourself to be. And sometimes we need them who say, live up to your potential. You're not seeing your greatness. And when you are ready, you come to me. And those are other mentors. You see, we start with putting ourselves in one level and then rise to another level and then rise to another level. And you can go to one doctor uh, and when you feel like, okay, this doctor has not given me the answers and if your insurance pays for it, you go to another doctor and you get a second opinion and third opinion. And those are all called privileges, driving in the streets. It's a privilege to be having that license. It is not your right. It is a privilege. And I think with everything that is happening in our world, knowing that it is a privilege for me to be here, and I am blessed for you to be watching this and making these beautiful comments. So, and I will give another tip. Praise, reward yourself and your loved ones. Speak in the now, in the present. Let's not constantly go back. What is in the past is in the past. Keep the best, dump the rest of the past, and let's move forward. Because that's how we evoke. By remembering it, by embracing it, by moving forward. So take a break and relax. If we're constantly on the go like a hamster, that zaps your energy. Um, there is no oxygen. So that's why we do prayers. We sit back. We do mindfulness. We do self-hypnosis. We do meditation. We do yoga. Or sometimes the body shuts down and says, time to sleep. So to bring this session to an end, No matter where you are, this Thanksgiving, either by yourself or loved ones, friends, may you be safe, may you be protected with light, may you take a moment and validate and thank yourself 
and be grateful for all the things that you have accomplished, for all the things that you have come through, and all the things that are coming your way. May angels, universe, all God's light surround you and be with you to protect you and shield you and shed all the negativity. And a prayer to all our loved ones who are not here with us. May their soul be light and be cradled in God's hands and strength to you and realize no matter who you are and no matter how long you've had your loved ones with you that in itself is a blessing thank you for the session and being with me at Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa blessings to you Before I finish this, I would like to gift my book as a thank you to the first person who posts that you would like to have it. And it would be my honor. Just a small little token of appreciation. You can either ask for my book or you can have one of my CDs. Uh, enjoy deep sleep and until next week this is Lisa Bubari and this has been Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa I look forward to seeing you next week oh Sylvia you got it my precious you will PM me please PM me or you can, we can talk on the phone and you can give me the information that I can send it to alright Goodbye.